This is the new Nexon EV, which unimaginatively will be known as the Nexon.EV from here on, in line with Tata Motors' new brand identity for its EV range. In its new form, the Nexon EV looks radically different from the product it replaces. And it does so not just to grab more eyeballs, but also in the name of better aerodynamics to improve range. While its enhanced powertrain with the Gen 2 motor and improved battery cooling capacity adds to the extended range, it is the tech insight that makes the Nexon.EV a game changer. It moves it from a mobility product to a tech one. Hello and welcome to Mobility Outlook. We are here in Pune to test out the new Nexon.EV and in this video, we are going to tell the improvements made to the vehicle. Sit back and relax as we take you through Tata's journey on developing the new product, enhancements done to its manufacturing capabilities as the EV space matures and the vision that the car maker carries with the new brand identity. Tata Motors changed the game in the electric car space in 2020 with the Nexon EV. It was an instant hit, the SUV body style, aggressive pricing, its noteworthy performance and the range were the key drivers here. In fact, over 53,000 units of the Nexon EV contributed to Tata Motors' recent 1 lakh sales milestone for its EVs. However, the competition has evolved since the Nexon EV first came out. And the competition now checks the same boxes that made the Nexon a hit. So to stay ahead, Tata is changing the game yet again. Tata Motors has focused on five key areas with the Nexon.EV to stay ahead. These include efficiency, performance, safety, technology and significant upgrades to its manufacturing as well. To begin with, Tata Motors has addressed range anxiety, currently the biggest hindrance for EV buyers by improving the range further on the Nexon.EV. Anand Kulkarni, Chief Product Officer and Head of HV Program at Tata Passenger Electric Mobility, during his presentation stated that his team had managed to increase the range on the new Nexon EV by 7%. Its certified range now stands 465km for the long range model and 325km for the medium range version. This was done with the focus being on improving the real life range. This has been achieved by combining a more aerodynamic design and an enhanced powertrain. The Gen 2 motor on the Nexon.EV uh, is a powerhouse of a performer. First and foremost, the RPM has been enhanced from 12,000 to 16,000. The torque delivery is now significantly better at the wheels and the power output of the motor is at 106.4 kilowatt. Uh, also, uh, the motor uses less rare earth metals than before and that's a 30% reduction uh, on, the, on the rare earth metals. At the same time, the efficiency on this motor is also uh, enhanced uh, and in order to do better drivability, the torque on the flat torque of the motor has been expanded by about 750 uh, RPM. All of these changes put together have also yielded us about 20 kilos of weight reduction and a smaller package, which obviously is a significant benefit when we are trying to do weight reductions and also trying to compact the entire uh, electric drive unit. Yeah, so in order to improve the efficiency on the batteries also, we have looked at a four-stage cooling pump now. So instead of using the uh, cooling pump in two different steps, we have now been able to harness and analyze a huge amount of data that we have from our past vehicles and do a four-stage cooling system. What it does therefore is allow us to use lower speeds in uh, very benign and pleasant climates but at the same time retain the ability to cool the batteries effectively even under the harshest of uh, hot weather climates like in Rajasthan or the western part of the country. Along with that on the exterior we now have a, a, a new bumper that uh, not only gives us an extremely digital signature from the front of the vehicle but also we've optimized it for aerodynamics and drag coefficient, therefore combining function along with the design very effectively and providing us great efficiency. Tata Motors has also improved the AC compressor, which now runs on lower duty cycle, which in turn helps in the range improvement.
Beyond these improvements, the company has also added the new IV bag system to strike a better balance between the vehicle brakes and the region braking system. Furthermore, the Nexon.EV now packs in vehicle to load and vehicle to vehicle power delivery features as well. Herein, the vehicle can provide up to 3.3 kVA to any external appliances and non-compatible EVs while for the compatible EVs, it can provide up to 5 kVA. On the safety front, the last generation model had scored 5 star in crash tests. The engineering team at Tata Motors wanted to retain the same accolade for the new EV as well and has made changes to the platform including the chassis to achieve that. Uh, we've increased the uh, performance of the car to now have a symmetric offset frontal crash behavior which means that the car is absolutely the same irrespective of whether it's a right offset or a left offset. Global uh, safety norms are evolving and side pole impact is an important criteria today. For an electric vehicle that becomes all the more important because there are batteries beyond the sill immediately. So reinforcements have been carried out in this area to make sure that the batteries stay absolutely safe even in a side pole impact. While cleansing the mobility space with cleaner and greener fuel is one key emerging trend in the industry, the industry is also focusing on having a culmination of mobility and tech, moving the vehicles from just being a way of transportation to an extended part of their home with fancy and new age tech features. Well, the Nexon.EV also follows the industry path here. Martin Olaharek, the head of global designs at Tata Motors, explains the whole theme for Nexon.EV has become digitization of mobility in its new form and it all starts with the design. He explains that while the earlier generation of the subcompact SUV was one of the few products in the market which was preferred by consumers of all age groups, the Nexon.EV had to follow that same path while being edgy and futuristic. And it actually does as we found out during our drive when people of all age group found the vehicle in Daytona Gray Shade a head turner. With the new design, the vehicle not only looks futuristic but also behaves like one, with all its fancy light show on locking and unlocking the vehicle while also showcasing the charging status through its front connecting LED TRLs. Cool fact to note, these LED headlights and taillights have allowed for a 30% energy consumption over the last generation model. Meanwhile, on the inside, the Nexon.EV improves immensely on tech features. It gets a 12.3 inch screen, a digital cockpit and an illuminated Tata logo on the steering wheel. The latter gives the cabin a gamified feel. Another interesting touch to the cabin or the infotainment system is the arcade.ev feature which essentially is like an app store developed by Tata for its EV range. The interior of the car has undergone significant changes. Uh, we now have paddle shifters on the steering wheel to uh, change the regeneration levels. We have the arcade.ev which is a app suit uh, and we can do about 20 apps today and we can keep on enhancing that in the future. And the large infotainment screen of 12.3 inches coupled with the 10.3 inches on the, info, uh, on the instrument cluster make for an extremely seamless, intuitive and flexible human machine interface. While the cabin sees a good improvement in quality levels, it gets additional feel-good features like monostable gear shift lever, ventilated leather seats and capacitive touch controls to name a few. However, we feel that a bit more focus on the practicality of the cabin, especially on the higher end with missing cup holders for the front section of the cabin would have been a tad bit nicer. Speaking of the trim level, with the Nexon.EV, the company departs from traditional approach to variant and introduces variants based on the customer persona. With the Nexon.EV, Tata Motors has gone for three personas, namely creative, fearless and empowered. In the lineup, while the creative only comes in the medium range option, the top two trims also get the long range option in the plus variant options. While all these changes were made in order to improve the overall package, enhancements to the company's manufacturing space have also been made in order to increase production, thus adding to profitability. With the new gen Nexon, 
all the three powertrain options that is the petrol diesel and the ev will be manufactured on the same assembly line helping in better resource management and improving the tack time for the ev so first of all we looked at uh, upgrading the manufacturing lines in the right way so that we could run all the three powertrains together and one of the important aspects that happens is you need to have a appropriate station for decking up the entire ev powertrain as well as the battery and uh, these were incorporated along with that we looked at how uh, these stations could be uh, how these stations could be unified for the work content in that so that the tack time or uh, flexibility that we needed to have could also be maintained and therefore now we are able to run uh, uh, electric uh, petrol or a diesel powertrain at the same speed and that allows us a supreme degree of flexibility while manufacturing vehicles all these changes to the vehicle are pointing towards the vision that tata motors is carrying for its new ev brand the company plans to keep digitization and gamification at the core of its ev range from here on as the market demand evolves says vivek shrivatsa head of marketing sales and service strategy at tata passenger electric mobility ev customers have been changing a lot uh, and they become behaving more like uh, tech customers you know so the kind of demands they have in terms of responsiveness from company the kind of customer experience are really going up uh, and we decided that in, if we do not respond to this need and demand from customers we will not be able to grow the ev category so the new brand identity actually is the first step towards presenting a very different level of customer experience and services to our customers idea is obviously to be able to deliver you know a much more responsive um, you know kind of atmosphere for the customers uh, have an impact on very frequent product upgrades and changes under the new for forever philosophy that we always had the nexon.ev takes the first step towards tata motors new ev range with tata.ev in hand while currently only products have come under the new brand Sivatsa said that other aspects such as retail and after sales will also have a new detailed strategy under tata.ev while the nexon.ev moves way ahead from its origins not just in terms of range and mechanical enhancements it also grows by leaps and bounds when it comes to tech advancements so much so that it actually feels like a tech product more than a mobility one with this updated esuv tata motors not only moves closer through its gen 2 evs which will start with the introduction of curb ev early in 2024 but it also gives us a glimpse of as to what to expect from tata.ev products from here on thank you for watching mobility outlook for more such contents please do visit our website mobilityoutlook.com and subscribe to our youtube channel to ensure you stay notified of all our video contents do press the bell icon until next time stay safe follow all the road and traffic rules and be a responsible citizen